about 10 months ago, um, we were fishing just out of this corner up here. And uh, while we went to pick up, there was a, a line twisted. As I was pulling it in, I noticed the black string on the black end of the black string was a turtle and it would turn out to be the sea turtle. Once we got the animal back into rehab over at the Coastal Wildlife Network, we took some x-rays, gave him some antibiotics, some fluids. Our standards for what we do when turtles come in. He had a little bit of a mouth injury from where he had swallowed the rope, so we treated the mouth injury and we closely monitored him and because of that mouth injury he actually couldn't eat on his own for a couple of days. So we had to tube feed him about two or three times just to jump start that appetite. Um, since he's come in he has progressed beautifully, he's gained weight, does everything that we could hope a sea turtle would do. After 10 long months of rehab he's gotten Lots of free buffet time. It was time for him to go back home in the Gulf of Mexico. Time to go home. He's so excited. He's just can't contain himself. But this today is the payoff and knowing that that turtle is now swimming in these waters again, I'm grateful. It, um, I can't explain a surreal type thing. It hasn't actually set in of how special this is. The public are truly the eyes and ears for the Coastal Wildlife Network. If it wasn't for a concerned citizen like Mr. Bobby Aguilard, we would never get the report of this turtle. So I urge if you ever see a marine mammal or sea turtle that is sick, injured, or in distress, to please call the Coastal Wildlife Network at 504-235-3005.